Hello and welcome to Linux tutorials at Learning Journal. In one of the earlier video, we learned to install Linux in a VirtualBox VM. Oracle VirtualBox supports starting your VM in a seamless mode. The seamless mode not only gives you a smooth user experience, but also increases your productivity. But this feature is not enabled by default. You need to install guest additions to make it work. Correctly installing guest additions is an involved activity. In this video, I will show you a step-by-step -step procedure to set up Linux VM in a seamless mode. So let's get started. VirtualBox guest addition is available as a single CD-ROM image. It should be accessible from your VirtualBox installation directory. So let's mount this CD image. Select the ISO file and shortcut should appear on your desktop. We completed the first step. The CD image contains the installer. But before we install guest additions, we need to install some packages. The first set of packages that we need is kernel devil and kernel header. There are many versions of these packages. We need to find out our Linux kernel version and download matching packages. To know your kernel version, you can use uname-r command. Ok, so this is my kernel version. Now the next challenge is to find the matching RPMs for kernel devil and kernel headers. The most likely place is the mirror.centos.org. I am using centos 6.8, so let's try to find it in 6.8 directories. It's an OS package for 64-bit edition. Right, we have a list of all packages. Let me search the devil package. Good. I have it here. The version number of this package exactly matches with my kernel version. Sometimes it may be difficult to find the exact version match of the package. You may have to google it. Once we know the exact location or have a downloaded copy of the RPM, it is as simple as using yum local install command. Repeat the same for kernel headers package and install that as well. The second requirement is to configure EPEL repository. EPEL is extra packages for enterprise Linux. You can find EPEL RPM at dl.fedoraproject.org. Ok, so this is the RPM that we need. Once you have the RPM, rest is simple. Install it using yum local install. Let me verify that yum is correctly recognizing EPEL repository. Ok, so it is there. The next step is to install DKMS, make and Perl. The DKMS comes from EPEL. That's why we installed EPEL repository before installing DKMS. You can install all of these by using yum install command. Good. 
Good, we are almost ready. The final step is to set kernel directory environment variable. We use this command to set the environment variable. Notice this back quote character. It is not a single quote. You will find it just below the escape key on your keyboard. Ok, let me check it once. So, the uname-r is executed as a command and the result of the command is used to set the environment variable. That's why we used back quotes. We are now ready to install guest additions. We have already mounted the CD image. Just write CD forward slash media forward slash and press tab. It will automatically pick the directory name. Press enter key. That's it. You are on the CD. List all the content. OK. So, this is the installer file that we need to execute. Let's do it. Great, we completed it. But the seamless option is still disabled. Restart your VM and switch to seamless mode. Great. You can see this bar here at the top. There is a menu at the bottom as well. Click on the devices, shared clipboard and bidirectional. Ok, let me demo you the copy paste. I started GIMP from Linux VM. You can see that the Linux and Windows share a common desktop. The application starts like it is running on your Windows host. I open this image in Paintbrush, copy all and simply paste it on GIMP. I am using Windows clipboard shortcuts. Ctrl C and Ctrl V. Done. There are many other features that a guest additions brings to us. You can get a full detail of those features in the VirtualBox documentation. Thank you for watching Learning Journal. Keep learning and keep growing.